Unlocks in video games are sometimes very complex, difficult to get things that people work very hard for. But with some of them you don't always want to admit, you got them because in order to do it, you had to be bad. Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today on Game Ranks, 10 embarrassing unlocks we got for being evil. Let's start off with number 10, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. What is wrong with you? When you're playing games with horse-drawn carriages like this, or a Wild West game like Red Dead, a lot of the time, it's easier to take out the horses than it is to take out the driver. It's just kind of an accepted thing with these games. You shoot the horse, the entire cart goes flying way easier than having to aim at the smaller human, making it a more difficult target. It's one of those things you're used to, but it's actually kind of a real dick move when you think about it. I mean, what do those horses ever do to you? It's the human on the cart that's shooting at you and, you know, using the horse. And that's what this achievement is about. You get it after you flip five vehicles by shooting their horses and that's about as blunt of an indictment of the player as an achievement is gonna get you're probably not gonna feel too bad from this one if you just get it from defending yourself but if it pops up after going on a joyride through London blasting away at civilian horses just because you can might be a little embarrassing not often does an achievement manage to yell at you but this one does at number 9 is Far Cry Primal. This one's called Tears of Shame. It's not hard to feel like a real dick after this one pops. This achievement only happens when you kill and skin one tamed beast. There's no reason to skin the animals that you tame, but there's plenty of animals around, so if you want to, the option's there, but the game isn't gonna let you just do it without comment. Like, I'm not crying tears of shame for killing a fake animal, but it's kind of embarrassing getting this achievement because it permanently brands your profile with tears and that doesn't really feel good. It, this one's actually kind of mean, even if, again, the animals aren't real, too. Like, the horse in the last one wasn't real either. That said, it doesn't mean you were exactly provoked into violence. Psycho. At number 8 is Friday the 13th, the game. Chad is a dick. Even though the servers went offline back in 2020, the game actually isn't dead. You can still turn it on and join a public game, at least at the time of writing this, so it's still possible to get online and get this achievement that's here just to let you know how much of a dick you are. This one pops when you escape while another counselor's still alive, so yeah, so much for working together. Uh, the only reason you're gonna see Chad as a dick is if you're totally in it for yourself. It's supposed to be a cooperative game, but there's nothing stopping you from bailing at the last moment and leaving your friends to die at the hand of Jason Voorhees if you want, but the game and probably your friends will rightfully call you out as a dick unless you had no choice. I don't know, making the difficult decision as you're hunted by a digital serial killer. It's hard to give too much of a hard time to somebody if they bail early, but you know, Chad is a dick. At number seven is Party Pooper from Batman Arkham Asylum. Pretty rare for Batman to get the chance to do anything even remotely bad. Sure, he can be pretty rude to supervillains, but I think it's fair to say most of them have it coming. These guys, maybe not so much. At the end of the game, Batman's invited to a party in his honor, and there's an entire party of Joker's henchmen outside the gate to greet him. They don't want to fight you, though. They just want to stand there and cheer when you enter the door, uh, which leads to the game's finale. There's no reason to fight them at all, but in this one rare instance, Batman gets to initiate a fight if he wants, so you're free to start throwing punches. That's how you get the party pooper achievement. You just beat up all the henchmen, celebrating Batman's arrival the party. It's not exactly evil necessarily because they're escaped convicts still. All they really want to do though is party. And you know, they even kind of want to party in a pro-Batman fashion. So yeah, it kind of sucks to do. At number six is the Stone Age Sniper from The Long Dark, another animal violence one, both impressive and kind of embarrassing. You get it for and I quote, stunning a rabbit with a rock from over 25 meters away. Now, it's hard to not acknowledge how impressive an act of animal cruelty this is. This is the long dark we're talking about here, so it's not as though it's just cruelty for cruelty's sake. It's a survival game where you eat whatever you can get, and that includes rabbit meat. Still, you know, it's killing a rabbit from 25 meters away and getting a reward for it. Being acknowledged as the foremost rabbit stunner whose proficiency with a stone throw is very impressive. I don't know, maybe it's just the achievement picture itself that really makes it embarrassing. It's just a rabbit with some crosshairs on it. Like, it's saying, you proud of hitting that rabbit from 25 meters away with a stone? Honestly, actually, yeah, kind of. Oh, you're being sarcastic? Okay, game. Point taken. 
And number five is Nier Automata's Wait, Don't Kill Me achievement. A game where you save most of your cruelty for the enemy or yourself. I guess you can kind of do both, but um, yeah, you can trigger some pretty embarrassing and pointless deaths. And some of these robots you fight are pretty pathetic. Kind of feels wrong to beat up on them, but yeah, they're basically your enemy, so it's understandable, right? This achievement is not that way in the game, though. There's some friendly machines around, most notably in the machine village. Uh, everybody here is completely harmless, incapable of hurting you, but you can hurt them to get this achievement. All you have to do is kill 10 friendly machines uh, in comparison to the other achievements like this. This isn't really accusing you or making fun of you. Instead, it's dialogue from the perspective of the robots that you've killed. I mean, sure, they're just robots and they're not even real robots, but so is your player character. All these guys are literally just friendly. It's kind of cruel that you would just kill them. But hey, if you want to platinum, you got to do it. And you know, these robots come back to life if you kill them anyway, so it's not like a permanently evil thing to do. We have done nothing bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At number four is Assassin's Creed, the enemy of the poor. This hilariously blunt achievement is awarded after you grab and throw 25 harassers. Now, if you don't know, the original Assassin's Creed has these annoying beggars who chase you around for food and money. They were super annoying, and it was hard not to have the urge to throw them around just because of how much of a nuisance they could be. They were literally made to be aggressive and disrespectful. However, this achievement, it, it doesn't make you feel great uh, because I don't want to be an enemy of the poor. I'm just the enemy of the incredibly irritating NPCs that get in my way who happen to be poor. It's completely different, right? I'm not doing it to the poor, like all of the poor anyway, just these guys. And it's not because they're poor. Yeah, they really stick it to you with this one. <laughs> Watch yourself, fool. Oh. Don't do that again. Understand. At number three is the Force Unleashes worst day shift manager ever. To try to wrap your head around the morality of this one is tough. To get this achievement, you gotta intentionally kill 12 stormtroopers while you're playing as Darth Vader during the prologue. So you're playing as a bad guy, which is bad, but you're also killing your bad allies, which is good or uh, possibly also bad. I, I don't know. It's just that the achievement itself is kind of funny and maybe a little embarrassing. It's actually a reference to those old Chad Vader day shift manager videos. And it's not just out of nowhere either. The guy who played Chad Vader is actually the guy doing Darth Vader's voice for the camp. It's still an achievement that calls you the worst, you know, whatever, ever. So it's kind of embarrassing, even if you get it by accident. At number two is Kingdom Come Deliverance. The Judas Award, in biblical terms, doesn't get a lot worse than being a Judas. I mean, there's betrayals, there's big betrayals, and then there's Judas. So getting an achievement that blunt really it means something. You gotta do something pretty bad to get it, too. You have to betray your old childhood best friends after a long quest line where you try to help them struggle to get by. Uh, by the end, you're forced to rob to survive, and if you're a big enough jerk to just completely ignore everything you've been through together as characters, you could choose to sell them out. The next time you see them, they're just corpses strung on at the gallows, and that's when the game hits you with the achievement just to really rub it in. In all seriousness, this is a quest line about helping them to get by. To get this achievement, you have to help them get by for a pretty long while and then decide, you know what, you're the problem. I'm taking you out. And finally, at number one, Dastardly from Red Dead Redemption. Most people are probably gonna get this achievement intentionally, but even for those people that did it because they wanted to, it was probably just a little embarrassing when it popped up. The Dastardly achievement, if you don't know, is probably the most infamous one in Red Dead Redemption. If you ever watched any old cartoons, you know the classic cliche of a woman tied to the train tracks, right? They've used it as a setup for countless cartoon things. It's uh, actually an old film trope from like the beginning of film. A lot of silent films had that, like as the main plot device. It's actually a pretty big Wild West staple, and the hero usually comes in at the last minute to save the damsel in distress from a gruesome fate that the ongoing train is sure to cause. Well, this achievement is about that. If you take away the whole getting rescued thing, you actually uh, do the opposite. You tie a woman up, put her on some train tracks, and then watch her get run over by a train. Yeah, dastardly is the right word. You might as well grow out your mustache to the point where you can put oil in it, make it as pointy as possible, buy a top hat and a black trench coat and cackle pretty constantly, because that's what you are. You're dastardly. Just accept it, integrate it, and move on. Couple of bonus points for you. The awkward ride home in Prey. 
This is a complicated achievement that can be obtained under a very specific set of circumstances. One interesting aspect about the arcane prey is how you can pretty much kill whoever you want on the station. Mostly serves no purpose whatsoever, but there's nothing stopping you from just icing someone whenever you want. One of the more unhinged characters you meet in this game is this guy called Dahl, who wants to kill everyone on the station before you escape. If you just go along with him, he'll of course betray you before you get into the escape pod, but if you knock him out, drag him into the pod with you, it'll trigger this achievement called called Awkward Ride Home, which seems pretty appropriate. It's awkward having to sit beside a stranger on a plane, let alone one that told you to kill everyone and then tried to kill you. It's not exactly embarrassing. It's noteworthy enough to at least mention here, though, that's there is enough to necessitate, I think, somewhat of an embarrassing feeling. And then our last one for the day is from Link's Awakening, the Forgotten Zelda. It's gotten some recent love with the fantastic remake. This one, it's not necessarily an achievement per se, so it's arguable that you really get anything but the game's a classic and this thing is a classic so if you know anything about Link's Awakening you probably know about how you can steal stuff from the village store and instead of picking something up and taking it to the counter and buy you can just run around the shopkeeper leave the store and if he's not looking you can just steal the item now you may think you've gotten away with your ill-gotten gains but no the game knows that you did it so from here on out your name is permanently changed to thief oh and don't even think of going back in the store ever again because if you do the shop owner is going to kill you instantly like the second you step inside which seems like overkill so now every time you start the game up the name thief it's there like a scarlet letter letting all your friends know about your shame but you know what screw that the bow was overpriced the shopkeeper that murdering sob deserved to be robbed that's all for today leave us a comment let us know what you think if you like this video click like if you're not subscribed now's a great time to do so we upload brand new videos every day of the week and the best way to see them first is of course a subscription so click subscribe don't forget to enable notifications and as always we thank you very much for watching this video i'm falcon you can follow me on twitter at falcon the hero we'll see you next time right here on game ranks